Every day we learn something new, either by choice, by learning a new hobby, new language, left by choice, or not by choice. We can go on the street and see a red snake. We did not, I did not know snakes can be red. I did not purposely search on the internet. Can snakes be red? I learned something new, that wasn't by choice. In ancient Greece and the ancient Rome, people thought there were two kinds of memories. The natural one, which contains the information of instinct, like when we are born, we know this is a food. I can walk with it. This is very fun. I like walking with a food. That's part of the natural memory. Or another example, I need to eat, otherwise I get hungry. I do not want to get hungry. I should eat. That's another part of the natural memory. And then there's artificial memory, which is based on today's method. Artificial memory is based on memorizing things brand new. You can use association from the information from the natural memory. I can see an elephant on the other side of the road from earlier. He's away from the snake. I can completely understand. Snake can be terrifying. He has got a giant foot. It's just like mine, but it's completely different, but it's still similar to mine. I use association to associate the memory of my foot with the elephant to learn the new information. That elephants can have feet like mine, but still different. Association is completely based on the word called a mnemonic. The M is silent. Basically, an example would be Rukubai. That's the tone, probably. So it's really nice. Rokhavai stands for every, every letter of Rokhavai stands for every color in the rainbow, as seen behind me. Red, orange, golden, verde, albastro, indigo, violet. These are the colors of the rainbow. This is a mnemonic because it associates every letter with each color of the rainbow. However, association is not the best way to learn something. Or it, it can be the most fun thing when I learn something new. But sometimes it's better to not associate at all. When I'm learning a new language, just like Spanish, I know it's Romanian and English, two languages in which arena mean the same thing. Arena, a place, a giant place where people gather to do certain things. But in Spanish, it means sand. Why does it work like this? I don't know. I stopped questioning the Spanish language. Whenever you want to learn something new, a hub, a language, there are tons of way of memory. Like repeating, La Arenas, I could not remember it by sand unless I repeated that word enough without associating. That can help me. I repeated it enough. That's another way. Association is not the only way. There are countless ways in which you can memorize something new, and every time you learn a language, you must use every and each one of them, even just for a pinch. This is what has done, and you arrive to the end of my TED talk. I am signing out.